The original video is linked in the description down below. Enjoy. All right, then. So what you're going to see on this one is a woman get arrested for harassing somebody. This is the steps I believe the officer should have taken with the uh, the guy who got attacked at the abattoir. And he chose not to. And that was probably a lot more serious offense than this one. But you'll see the differences. So let's just get straight into it. Right, so can we go back to the beginning? Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm PC4466 Williams of Cainton Police Station. PCI Footfall 072, based at Cainton Police Station. And my name's Casey, and I'm about to show you how the police really are. Okay, Casey, um, like I said, I'm just going to caution you, only because I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? And an so they're cautioning me, so I'm being you. legally detained. No, you're, being, you're being cautioned, okay? So when I'm being cautioned, am I being detained? No. Nope. No. So what does caution mean? Anything I say can be used in evidence. Yeah, and I, I don't I'm know, going to go no, through it. I don't through know it. the law, no, so I'm trying to see. Nice and slowly for you. Yeah, because do I need a solicitor? That's what I'm saying. Do so, I need a solicitor? Yeah, let me explain it to you. So you have the right, you're not under arrest, so you're yeah. not detained, as I said. You have the right to independent, free legal advice, okay? And you do not have to answer any of my questions, okay? And you're free to leave at any time at the moment. Yeah. Right. So the minute he said free to leave at any time, she should have got up and just walked away and then seen where it had gone from there. That was the right thing to do in this situation, as you're going to see. So I am going to caution you, so you do not have to say anything, but it may harm a defence if you do not mention when questioned, something you later on in court. Anything okay. you do say may be given in evidence. So as I said, you do not have to say anything, okay? So you don't have to answer my questions. Um, anything you do say now, um, and when questioned upon it, if I further question you, and in this matter, if this matter goes to court, okay, and the court raises questions towards you, and you answer them, and you might have not answered us, the court might draw its own inference or understanding from that, okay? And this recording, obviously my body cam's on, you've got your your footage, that could be played in court if this matter goes to court, all right? Do you understand that? Like I, I said, the main I, three points are, you're not under arrest, you don't have to answer my questions, and if you want a free and independent legal advisor right now, that's your right, okay? Okay, can, can, I, can I say something? You certainly can. Right. So this is for everybody out there. The minute you are cautioned, you say nothing. You keep your mouth shut, until your solicitor gets there. Because like he says, anything you say will be used in a court of law. It will be used against you, basically. So, and anything you don't say can be used against you as well, which it can't be, because you don't say nothing. You say nothing, you get a, your, your solicitor or a free representation, you do your interview, and then you go from there. But the minute you... Uh, under caution, you say nothing. The best thing you can do in this situation, like I say, is say nothing and just see what happens from there. Okay. Firstly, I came up to you and I said, it's me you're looking for. So I didn't try and hide away. No. Okay. Secondly, I gave you the number of where I am and I told you not to interview me in front of my witnesses yep. because I didn't want to um, dil dilute my witness statements. As you haven't come to talk to me as um, off the record, let's say, without the caution, yeah. I'm sorry, then we're going to have to have a solicitor present. If, if, you were going, if you wanted to talk to me, and, I, and like I said, I have a video to show you what happened. I have three scenarios of how we got to today. You didn't want to hear. I gave you the option. I came up to you. Mm -hmm. You decided that you wanted to waiver that right mm -hmm. and, and go straight to caution. Yep. So therefore... I was always told by a solicitor, yeah. if I'm under caution, do not go without a solicitor. I am entitled to a free you solicitor, yeah. so please, I am hopefully not under arrest right now, but what I would like to do is for you to arrange a meeting at the police station and, and whoever my solicitor would be, because I don't know how this works, and where I can come to a time and a place, or, or I don't know if you think I'm a serious criminal and that you want to drag me off now in handcuffs, I don't know. But I am saying that I will... So I just want to let, I just want to know what you think of this woman. Do you think she's going to get handcuffed and dragged off? Let us know in the comments down below, because you're going to be quite surprised. To me, this woman is not a danger to anybody, but clearly this officer might not think that. So let's see what happens. But in my opinion, she's more than willing to make a, to go and do a statement at a police station at a, a time and a place which works best for everybody and the fact that these officers by what i've heard so far are refusing to do a proper investigation before even uh 
cautioning this woman to me says everything what's going to happen but let us know what you think so far in the comments down below i want to know what what you think is going to happen the tender police station mm -hmm. with a lawyer mm -hmm. at, at a given time that works for all of us because i i you know i can come anytime i'm retired semi mm -hmm. and obviously you have your times mm -hmm. and um i have and a solicitor has his job so um i don't want you to keep me in cells till you get one off i don't feel that i need to be dragged off i'm sitting i'm sitting in a police van you, are, yeah. you know me you know where i live i'm not going anywhere you can come up to my house and take my passport but um that that that's how i'd like to go forward because i gave you the option to discuss it all mm -hmm. and i and i gave you the option to show the video you chose not to go down that road you've chose to take me to court that's where you want that's when you know no, no but, but when you say you're going to use my evidence in court that is the option you step to mm -hmm. right so we've stepped above having a little friendly chat between us because mm -hmm. you pulled rank on me you have all right i'm a business person yeah. and i'm fine i'm happy to stand up yeah. to the rank because i am a business person i understand how it works i'm not knocking you here I'm not all i am right. saying is that this is the road you have chosen mm -hmm. to so i don't think she said too much i don't think she's a threat to anybody and at this moment in time i can tell by this officer's demeanor exactly what he's gonna do but like i say i don't think she's a threat to anybody and she is more than willing to go and thingy do a statement and everything but she has said too much she's under caution she shouldn't have said nothing that's my stand on it go down to and i am chose and i am cho choosing to take your road i'm not running away in a no, car I'm in a different direction right, right. so i don't know how the next bit works yeah you tell me how do we get to the interview in the police station well the thing is unfortunately you're going to arrest me. I am going to arest you, yeah, okay. on suspicion of harassment, okay? So, okay. mind you, still under caution. So you don't have to say anything, but it may harm defence to not mention when questions, which later on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. The necessity for your arrest is to prevent um, damage to property. An allegation you've made that you have threatened to damage a worker's van whilst he is on the property, okay? And for a prompt and effective investigation by way of interview to be conducted, okay? And to prevent further offences. I, I fear that if you remain here and he carries on with his work, that there will be further issues. We've had multiple calls now, okay? I am not okay. comfortable with that, so that's my necessities. Uh, okay, and... Uh okay, then, so in my eyes, his necessities are all based off uh, allegations and no actual facts, which is absolutely bollocks. Is there any facts that she might do this? Or have you even investigated that she might do this? No, have you even established that these threats have been made? No. So... This the fact that is going this route in my eyes is absolute bollocks. This to me is just a stand to say I've got the power. You can tell because he's got a little gang badge on his shoulder. Um. So am I allowed to drive myself to the police no, station? No, you'll be coming with us. Okay. okay so I want request? to. I want to. I, I just want to tell. You can tell my colleague. Yeah. You can no, speak to him. no, not your colleague. I got a team of workers in there, and I'd like to get a bottle of water. So I request now that you do stop filming because I'm going to be. I need. We need to take your property anyway to come with you. So we put. So that's how this one ends. I think his necessity is to for arrest was uh, not good enough in my eyes. If he's gonna drag people off like that, what about the fact that? Like as a the guy there abattoir which got attacked, he got he had his uh, property stolen, and all there did was took a statement and then left it at that. All this is for suspicion of harassment on here, sir. That is it. But let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.